Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel. So I hope everybody is doing well today and staying safe. So um, you might notice right off that I'm wearing a shawl. You know, Bag O'Day doesn't generally wear shawls, but there's a purpose why I'm wearing this. Um, today is 10-5 of the year of 2023. Where has the time gone? I don't know. But as sad as that is, I do have a tutorial for this beautiful shawl, which I put on today. So please check it out. So this shawl has a lot of many advantages. For one, it's three dimensional. Can you see it? It's super, super cool looking. I mean, the coolest. Not only that, it's reversible. It is the same on both sides. Gotta love that. Also, since it's, it's worked from the bottom up, it creates its own border on the sides. All the way up both sides. But the best part about this shawl is, it's a one row repeat. Who doesn't love a one row repeat? I mean, I love them, I love them. Um, so please check this out. I did put it on my channel today. It's a, it is absolutely stunning. It's, it's very, very beautiful. Now, if you don't like the triangle shawl effect, I do have a, sh a scarf that I made out of this. It was several years ago, though. But um, if you look at my playlist under scarves, you'll see it right off. It's blue. And it will teach you how to go in the back and forth rows versus the triangle in case you want to make a wrap or, you know, or something else out of it like that. But this is it. So please, please check it out if you can. I'm going to set this over here because I can't wear crochet with my wrist candy or it gets stuck on it. All right, so this video isn't about the shawl, even though I done talked about it for two minutes. And this video is about yarn. Now, I know many people would consider me a yarn enabler. Um, and you know that I never intentionally mean to enable people. I only try to give people good deals. But this video is not about me being a yarn enabler. I was the victim this time. I was the victim of enabling. So there's someone on my Facebook page who likes to post good deals. Sometimes Bag O'Day can't pass up a good deal. You're watching, you know who you are, you know who you are. Everybody on my Facebook page, if you follow, you know I've now dubbed him the Bag O'Day Crochet Facebook Yarn Enabler. That's what he is. That's what he is. You know I'm joking. I love you. I'm just kidding. No, actually, he did save me some. He put a good deal on the other day. And I couldn't pass it up. Save me. He saved me some money. So, uh, thank you very much for that. I'm, I'm, I was just joking about that. So, uh, this is from Hershner's. So, uh, they... You know, he put up a good deal they were having. I think it was last week. I can't remember. They had like some 25% off. I can't remember. And then he had some code. It was just all a big ordeal. And Bagger Day's like, oh my gosh, I got to go there. So, um, I'm going on. I look at Hershner's now um, at the making of the video. And it says they're having a fall warehouse sale. 80% off a lot of items. I'm not going to buy from them. Try not to. Anyways. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what's in the box right now. So, uh, like I said, I did score some good deals. At the time when I bought this, they had like, you know how I'm addicted to Afghan kits. They had Afghan kits like 25% off, but there, plus there was a code involved. And anyways, whatever, I got a good deal. So, uh, and if you know anything about me, I really, really love Christmas. So, I got uh, some Christmas Afghan kits. I don't even know whether they were knit or crochet. I know some of them were crochet. I think some of them might have been knit, but I don't know. All I know is they were pretty, they were inexpensive, and they were Christmas. I had to get them. I did get some new yarn as well. So, let's check it out. Let's check it out. I haven't looked yet. I always save my openings on camera. I like to do it, you know, on camera. So, it did come in boxes. I'm not sure why that happened, but 
It did come in two boxes. I say I'm not sure why that happened. I know why it happened because I bought too much and they couldn't fit it all in one, one box. <laughs> oh my my. Oh, it's acting cute. Christmas, Christmas time is near. It's time for joy and time for cheer. All right, look at this one. So I'll have to give you a price here in a minute because I would imagine that the receipt is in this box. Let me get it out real quick. Okay, I just brought up my invoice on my uh, computer here. It's easier that way. And you know what I did this? I looked and some of these are still on sale. So yeah, <laughs> look at this one. This one is called um, Hershner's Forest to Date, Up to Snow Good. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking adorable. I mean, who wouldn't want, I don't know. I know not everybody likes Christmas. I absolutely adore it. I always put up tons of trees and whatnot, but you know, that's, that's just me. So here's the pattern. It is crocheted and it looks like those, uh, like snowmen and those mittens are sewed on separately. Looks relatively easy. Yeah. Um, let's see if we can get a size. 44 by 58. Skill level, easy. Nice. I like it. I'm going to set this to the side so I don't uh, have to put it in the box. But the yarn that it comes with is the Hershner's brand yarn, the Worsted, Worsted 8, which is just fine yarn. I compare it to Red Heart Super, well, some of them are softer than Red Heart Super Saver, but when you put it in the wash, it washes up. And then we got these little minis, too. So, we got some different colors of blues and whites and a little orange, you know. What's the orange for? Oh, the snowman's carrot of his nose, of course. So, this was $44.99, and it still is right now. All right, I'm going to try not to make this video too long. But look at this one. Ooh, this was the 2023 National Afghan Contest winner. Ooh, oh, oh, this is going to be pretty. Pretty, pretty. Look at that one. I, look at that. It is Grand Champion winner. What's it called? So is, it, is it called Grand Champion? Is it called... Oh, it's called Let It Snow Crochet Kit. Now, this one was a little expensive. It was $79.99. I'm not sure why it was so expensive. Is it because it's Grand Champion winner? I don't know. Could be. Maybe it's the yarn it came with. I don't know. It could be that, too. But let's check out the size of it. Isn't that pretty? So this is Crochet... And it looks like a bunch of squares sewn together. And those snowmen and those uh, snowflakes are sewn on, it looks like, afterwards. It does have a really pretty border. That's a very, very pretty act, and I can understand why it won. Um, I want to get a size here. 50 by 58. Not bad. That's including the border. Skill level intermediate. You know, those almost look Tunisian crochet, but you know what? I don't know if it is. Um, yeah, it is. All right. So, yeah, yeah, it has some Tunisian in it. See that? I thought those looked like they were uh, done up in Tunisian. I can't tell on the dark blue. And I can't read patterns, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. But I can see that it does require you to know how to do a Tunisian stitch. TSS. Oh, Tunisian simple stitch. Whatever. It still is very, very pretty. And I like it. So the yarn it came with was... Cal okay, so this costs more money probably because of the yarn that that was made with. So... It's made with Karen Simply Soft. We got three blues there. And then three light... Oh, six light blues. This is a pretty, pretty afghan. Oh, 
and some party yarn. So we got some sparkle, Caron Sparkle. I love the Caron Sparkle yarn. So in total, we got three, six, nine, 12, 13 balls of regular Caron Simply Soft. Six balls of the party yarn. So that's where the price came from. And one little ball of this yellow. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I guess the carrot, but you think it would be orange. But you know what? This yellow, I guess, will have to work because that's what they gave me. That's what they gave me. And that's what will be used. So I'm going to put that in there. That's pretty accurate. Yeah, yeah that, that, uh, all that can would uh, make up for the price of that yarn right there. So that's why that one's a little bit more money than the other. Okay. I'm not done now. I'm not done. What do you see this one? Um, this one is, I can't really pick a fave because they're all so beautiful. This one is called the Hershner's Christmas Foliage Crochet Kit. It's round. Ooh, it looks intricate and beautiful. Let me take that out. Now, this wasn't very much. This was $38.99. I don't think that's a bad price. Uh, you got, uh, it comes with the Hershner's brand yarn. Two, four, six, eight balls. Now, uh, this stuff is usually five bucks a ball, I think. So, you know, it's a little cheaper. Plus, you get the pattern with it. Isn't that a beauty? I'm gonna keep that. I have to have it made and then I put it on my chip for Christmas time. we we'll do something with it for Christmas. I really love Christmas. I do. I'm gonna commission some of these out. Oh, come on. Don't do me like this, you piece of cellophane. Or whatever you are. Alright. That is one gorgeous, gorgeous afghan. I mean, that is so... It could be one of my favorites. I don't know. It's really hard. But yes, I love how intricate it looks. I love... Generally, I wouldn't like a busy afghan like this. But it really, really works. It's so pretty. It so needs to go on my chair during Christmas time. I, what do you guys think? You think it needs to go there? I'm thinking it needs to go there, man. I do. <laughs> so this is called, this is an intermediate skill level. Oh, the, the size of the circle is 57 inches. That's a pretty good size for a throw. So yeah, it's a uh, crochet. That's nothing I would really want to crochet myself because I'm not a fan of Oh, you block it to 57 inches. Okay. A uh, fan of crochet, but my God. Or blankets, but crochet. I love crochet. I'm not a fan of uh, crochet and blankets, but that is absolutely gorgeous. Yep. So, like I said, it has different reds and greens and whites uh, to make that beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my gosh. Is that ever pretty? Okay, so as much as the snowmans are adorbs, I mean, they are adorbs, don't get me wrong. So far, this is my favorite Afghan kit, so far. But I do have a couple more to look at. <clears throat> and I think a couple of them are knit. And I absolutely love knitted items. I have new yarn in here too, so. Um, what's going on here? No, they mess up my order. No, 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 no. Come on now, Hershens. No. This one I wanted. I wanted it. It didn't come. They sent me the wrong one. All right. I was really excited to see this one because it was knit. But I'll have to tell them that they messed up my order. That's okay. It happens. Okay, so I did get this one though. Um, this is their winter uh, solstice, sol 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 I can't say that, I have trouble with S's. Um, it's also, uh, let's look at it, I don't know if that's a, uh, hexagon, or what, what is this thing? Um, one, two, three, it looks like some type of hexy. Oh, it's knit, it's knit! 
This one's beautiful. See it? I think it's knit. It appears to be knit. I can't knit, but I know people that can. So that one's really pretty. So winter, let's see, this is skill level intermediate. Ooh, finish size is 62 inches across. Um, yes, this is knit because it's just like in another language to me. Even crochet is in another language, but not this bad. <laughs> That's pretty though. I like it. It's uh, interesting. Um, and it comes with Hershner's worsted 8 yarn as well. And this one was $34.99. Good deal on that. I'm very, very, it's very unfortunate that they messed up my order, but that's okay. Because Hershner's, if I know anything about them, they will rectify it and they will rectify it in a timely manner. So I was supposed to get a Christmas knit kit. It was called Signs of the Season. And it had like, it was blue, with, it was knitted with some. Um, um christmas stars and two candles like in the middle i was really excited but i didn't get that they sent me this one instead which is not christmas <laughs> so what i will do is I'll, i'm gonna look at it but i'm not gonna keep this i will i will email them tell them they sent me the wrong one how much was this if it's the same price Maybe I'll just buy the other one and just keep this one. I don't know. Let's look at it. This is called uh, Hershner's 2018 Afghan Contest winner. So it's knit. It's called Seaside. It won first place in 2018. Holy crackies. That pattern's like a book. Look at that. Is that a, a hole? Oh, here's the one I was supposed to get right here. I was supposed to get this one. See that? And they didn't send me that one. Isn't it pretty? Oh my gosh, does that one have donuts on it? I didn't even see that one. I would have bought that for sure. It looks like it has cookies and donuts on it. Oh, I got the hugest sweet tooth ever. Well, anyways. Oh, it is. It's called Box of Chocolates. I'm going to look for that one. Anyways. So yes, I was supposed to get this, which they made a mistake and sent me this one instead. So if, if the price is the same, I'll probably keep this one because it is very, very pretty. And I think it would do well at the auction. Um, I'll have someone knit it up and then I'll just order this one. I want to keep this one for myself because like I said, I'm a Christmas fanatic. And I'll probably use this in my living room during Christmas time. And, but it's knitted as well. Um, so I think that... I'll just keep this one and then it as long as the price is the same man this pattern looks huge oh it's got all the patterns in it okay so that's interesting so actually look there's the one that I uh, ordered actually I would just need to buy the yarn huh the yarn eh, right that'd be right though since it's on sale it would probably be cheaper just to buy the kit. I'll check it out. That's so pretty. I can't wait to get that in my house. But this one's pretty anyway, so let's talk about this one. I want that box of chocolate one. And if they don't have it, and since they sent me this pattern book, I'm just going to buy the yarn for it. <laughs> and see if I can get someone to make it. I think it'll do well at auction too. Or it'll do well at my house. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Okay. This says it takes an experienced knitter. Alright. And it's 43 by 62. So this is what it looks like. And it's as you can see it's knitted. And it's got these things are kind of like. I don't know what. They're sticking off somehow. I don't know anything about knit. I can just see that they are sticking off somehow. So I do know a few experienced knitters. Um, and I think that they would probably be able to handle this. That's beautiful. And it comes with, um, well, okay, I feel stupid. I feel stupid. Scratch everything that I just said. After looking at the yarn and realizing it does not match that afghan, 
it has the whole pattern book here, right? They sent the yarn for this. I'm so sorry. Oh, I always feel, I, I feel silly. I'm sorry. So they did send the yarn for this. It's just when this was on the front, I'm like, they sent me the wrong one. But I realized they have four patterns in here. Okay, so this is the one I got. This is the one I ordered, and this is the one that I wanted. I saw this, like, <laughs> yellow and red, and I'm like, wait, what's that for? That's not, that's not in this one. But now I see they did send me the right one. So let's look at this one, shall we? And I'm going to have to go back and get that one if they still have it. No, no, I won't do that. Okay, now this says it takes an intermediate knitter, and it's 48 by 60. That's a nice size afghan. I like that. I like that a lot. Designed by Georgia Vincent. Georgia Vincent from New Hampshire. That is gorgeous. Look at all that graph and whatnot stuff for the knitter. I don't know. It's a beautiful afghan, though. That's pretty. A lot of pretty afghans in that book. I don't know if they sell all those. I don't remember seeing any, any of them on that side. I feel kind of bad though using the pattern. That they sent me a book of four patterns. I feel kind of bad using the pattern and buying the. You know what I mean? Just buying the yarn for the other ones. I'd have to buy. I'd have to buy the whole kit. I, I, I'd feel pretty bad doing that. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm always like support a designer by the pattern. And even though they sent me four there. I would still have to buy the whole kit again. I'm like that. I don't know why. All right, enough of that. That's enough of the kits. So I got some new yarn that Hershner's had. But before we talk of new yarn, let's talk of um, more Christmas yarn, shall we? <laughs> Which of those kits were your favorite? Oh my gosh, they're all so pretty. I feel so silly about that uh, one with the candles on it. They didn't make no mistake. They made no mistake. That was me. They sent me the right one. I love the one with the candles, but man, that round one that was like red and green and gold and stuff. I got to have that for my chair. I do. Which one is your favorite? All right, I'm going to move on. This video is too long. All right. So they have um, packs of yarn on sale. This, I got two of their, no, yeah, yeah. Christmas, I got two different colors of their Christmas packs because I thought maybe, I don't know make some Christmas stuff maybe anyway so in the Christmas pack this was a they had different colors of Christmas ones that you could get I got the classic classic right here so it comes with four different colors of classic Christmas colors I guess you got the green the regular or the dark green the red a light green and it's just the regular white ivory ivory okay and these were so $16.99, which is a little cheaper, you know, because normally these are like, I think, $49 or $5 bucks a piece. You know, a little cheaper. Plus, I had a coupon code, though, too, so that helped out. And these, they're not $4.89. They have 489 yards in them. I think they're about 5 bucks a piece on the regular. So, I'm going to do something with that. Maybe. I got... Uh, what do I got? If there's almost 500 yards there, 5, 10, 2,000 yards, but then I, I got two, so I got 4,000 yards of that color. And then they had this blue. Normally I wouldn't be drawn to like blue, but for some reason I got a lot of, I think it was all those blue afghan kits. And then I'm like, I gotta get this blue too. This is one of their Christmas packs, again, which was $16.99. I thought this would make something, it doesn't have, necessarily have to be Christmas. It just make a really pretty kind of gradient blanket. The colors that they have, you could go to dark, start with dark, medium, or dark, second dark, medium, and to light. We well, you know, like I said, it wouldn't necessarily have to be Christmas, uh, even though, I mean, because anything could be blue. I mean, my hat's blue, and it's not Christmas. That was a bad, bad comparison. But anyway, so I got that too. Um, $16.99. Um, not really, it was in their Christmas section, like I said, for, for sale, but... I didn't really buy it for the purpose of making a Christmas item. I think I bought it for the purpose of just kind of like making some type of gradient project. So there's that. All right, now new yarn, new yarn. Okay, so this was new. Uh, it's been new for a little bit, but I never got around to trying it. Premier Sweet Roll Bold. Okay, so first time seeing it. 
Um, for, I don't know. I've never touched it. Never, you know, I never touched it or anything. I think it's going to be very similar to Karen Chunky Cakes. That was only my guess. But you know what? I'm wrong a lot, so. <laughs> um, yeah. It reminds me of Karen Chunky Cakes, the feel of it. And the weight of it. There you go. Nice, nice bulky six. It's very pretty colors. Pretty in colors. The striping effect is relatively short, so you would not be able to color control this. Um, it's more of a, I would call it more of a variegated than I would a striped. I don't even know if they call it a striped um, or not, but it appears to be like a, either a short, short striped, short striped, or maybe a longer variegated. Regardless of what it is, there's no way I could color control it. So whatever pattern I think I use with this, it would have to be some type of simple stitch because it's, the yarn will take away from any any uh, other type of stitch. Feels good though, but like I said, it feels identical to carry on Chunky Kinks. Only only in my hands if you felt them. So it's 100% acrylics, number six weight, which I agree with that. Um, machine washable, dryable, 100% acrylic, 109 yards, 109 yards, and um they were six buck or 5.99 a piece no i'm sorry 7.99 a piece mm. okay so yeah <laughs> those were on sale so uh that seems a little pricey just to me i think can chunky cakes have a bit more yardage in them i know that they are they are uh more money but you can always find them at Michael's um, on sale. And you can probably get them for eight bucks like these. So why don't we see the chunky cake shortage real quick. I'm not trying to compare, but yeah, I am. I'm trying to compare. It's a new yarn. I got to compare. Yeah, the can chunky cakes have 300 yards versus 109. So even at a regular price, this being eight bucks and chunky cakes being thirteen, it's still a better deal to go with the chunky cakes. Um, I don't know, like they have a rainbow one as well, um, you know. But I just wanted to try it, you know, since it was new and see. There's nothing wrong with it. It's very, very pretty. I just think it's a bit pricey for my likings, considering I, for me it seems very identical to Caron chunky cakes and they have uh i don't know but that's just me you like what you like right i'm not saying i don't like this it's very pretty and i'll do something with it i have 300 yards here 308 or uh 327 yards right um i don't know what i'll do with it since it's a bulky six i could probably get a little cowl or something out of that but like i said it's gonna be pretty busy um so, like I said, I've never had this, but I probably wouldn't buy it again, only because I, so, to me, it just seems so similar to Count Chunky Cakes, and I can get them cheaper at Michael's, um, with more yardage in them. Even on the regular, they're cheaper, but they're always on sale, so, <laughs> um, but there's nothing wrong with that yarn. It's very, very pretty. Um, okay. This stuff was new. This was new, and it's kind of Christmassy. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but you guys can help me decide, okay? And then I just, after this, I just have one more new yarn to show you, and then I'll, then I'll be gone. I'll be gone. So this was new from, I think it was new. I don't know. I've never had it before, so I'm considering it to be new because it's new to me. How about that? <laughs> new to me, new to me. This is Hershner's Macrame Sparkle. Look at that. And that is so pretty so these were 4.99 so five dollars a piece all right let's read about them i love sparkle and their christmas colors too um you know think of christmas you think of sparkle right christmas and sparkle you know they go hand to hand they're just they go together it's 75 acrylic 13 polyester and 12 percent of the metallic that's a lot of, that's a lot of sparkle up in there um, 224 yards or 205 meters. So, this being a macrame, it's chain spun, you know, it, it, it's going to make something nice. I think maybe, 
There you go. That's the weight. Thick four. Bulky five. I'm going to call that a bulky five. Um, they're calling it a four. There you go. Call that what you will. It could be, yeah, it could be a thick four. Um, I think, oh, I got this one, which is called Glacier. And then I got some classics. Um, right here. This one is Sang Sangria. Of course, Emerald. It wouldn't go by any other name than Emerald, would it? No. And then we have this one, which is called Snow Hill. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. It looks like the snow drifts my brother used to bury me in when I was little. <laughs> so sparkly and pretty until I was underneath them and couldn't get out. Anyway. <laughs> So, I think since this is a macrame, you know, it's going to make something that will stand up nice on its own. What do you guys think? I think maybe the blue I would use for, like, Christmas ornaments or something. But the red, green, and white, and even the white. But the red, green, and white, maybe some sort of Christmas basket. Or a rug. Or, oh, 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 like a table runner. Like a, uh, yeah, yeah. That you could put on the center of your table for Christmas you know and just put stuff on it you know just you know um what's the yarn content oh it's acrylic you know I could even though though it is acrylic polyester blend I think that it could still be used for a hot pad that you lay on your table I don't think it'll melt actually scratch that I'm not gonna use it for a hot pad me not thinking it will melt doesn't mean it won't. Um, so I think it would make a nice, pretty Christmas table runner. Or maybe I'll make something for the my fireplace the fireplace mantle. Oh, that's so... The possibilities are endless. Plant hangers, if you want to de decorate your plants for Christmas. Like I said, ornaments. Um, tree topper. Ooh. Give me some ideas in the comments. I'm thinking, though, maybe a Christmas table runner with these three. I guess I could do it with these two if I have enough yardage. We'll see. What did I say the yardage was on here? 224 each. Got plenty. I think if I put these three together though, I can make a pretty table runner for Christmas. Maybe, maybe. Oh, I can always use your expertise in the comment section. I value what you say. I got one more to show you and then I'll be gone. Out of your hair. This was, this is new. Now a lot of people have already had it. Back of days late in the game, right? I'm late. I'm always late. But it's a new neon yarn. Now they had these neon packs. I only bought uh, for one pack. Um, or four different colors. The other ones didn't really uh, seem... They weren't really my style of neon. So I didn't get them. So these are called uh, Neon Lights. Hirschner's Worsted 8 Neon Lights. They have several different colors. They have like even blue and red. But I, weren't, I wasn't drawn to them as I was these. Now this particular pack um, was $16.99 I believe. No, $15.99. Um, and it's called Fluorescent. So remember, they do sell them by the ball as well. But... Oh, I bet they glow in the black light. I know they glow in the black light. I see some people doing it. So I'm not going to do the black light test because they do glow in the black light. So this one is a variegated. Let's check out the yardage. It's 100% acrylic, 489 yards. So one thing I really like about Hirschner's is no matter if they use striped yarns, variegated yarns, and new special yarns like this, solid yarns, they always keep the same amount of yardage in their ache ounce balls and it's always 489 you know some companies they'll take out they'll give you less yardage if you buy a striped striped yarn and whatnot <laughs> red heart but anyways uh they never do and that's one thing that i really like about hershner's so 489 yards or 448 meters and they're recommending a five and a half millimeter four weight huh yeah yeah it's a four weight so, this is like their regular worsted eight. And this is a variegated one. There you go. 
feels fine, a little soft and red heart, but then again, Hershner's is kind of red heart, super savory, but it does soften up after a wash. There are some softer than others. It really kind of depends on the color, and it has a pool tab. Hershner's, they're uh, worse at eight yarns, always have a pool tab. Mmm, and it smells clean. So this one is called fluorescent. It's a variegated. And then they put three others that w went with it in this pack. Remember, you could buy these separate. And they also had packs of, with other different colors. I just chose this one. Ugh, I started my eyes. It's so dang bright. It's green. It's bright. <laughs> it's uh, luminescent lime. A luminescent lime. So all the colors that are in this pack are probably going to be in the in the uh, variegated here. I'm not going to be able to work with this. It's going to blind me. I never. I like I like neon colors, but I don't know why my eyes are sensitive to them. So there's that one. My eyes. It's so bright. <sighs> um. This one's called a laser lemon. You know the names are very appropriate. I like I like the names, and I'm not exaggerating. Neon yarns hurt my dang eyes. I don't even know why I bought this. I bought it because I wanted to use it, and I don't. I'm not gonna be able to use it. Um, that is bright yarn. <laughs> I gotta put them in the box. I'm gonna be able. I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna use. I'll put some sunglasses. <laughs> This one isn't quite as bright, so this one will be okay. Um, it is a little bright, but it, man, that yellow was super bright, and that green, that yellow was the brightest, and that green was the second brightest. These actually feel pretty good. Way, quite a bit better than Red Heart. Super saver. This one's called Wild Watermelon. Oh yeah, so the same colors are in that. So that's nice. I like these. I'll, I'll, I'm going to use them. I'll, use, I'll wear some shades when I work with that. That's all I got. Now, in my one of my other videos, I did an unboxing, and um, I was trying to read a yarn label. I don't know if I got told you guys this or not. I was trying to read a yarn label, and uh, my vision went blurry, or the label went blurry. The vi my vision went blurry, and I couldn't read it. And I, you know, I felt kind of bad. Like I don't know what's going on. I can't read this label. And then, because um, <clears throat> I've always had really good eyesight, and. Uh, some people in the comments, you guys can go now, and now I'm just blabbing. Some people in the comments were telling me that they were kind of concerned that maybe I should go see an eye doctor. And you know what? That made me really concerned because I'm like, why did my vision just go? I couldn't, I couldn't even read the label. Like, what's going on? <laughs> and I, don't, I didn't understand. So, for all those that who, who watched that and you were concerned, I did go to the eye doctor last week. Because you guys being concerned for me, thank you, made me very concerned. So then when I'm concerned, I look it up on Google, and Google always tells me I'm dying. So I made a doctor's appointment, and or I, I went to the eye doctor, and I'm good to go. My vision is the same as it's always been, 2015. Mm, good vision, good vision. All right, so I think what made it go blurry was allergies. I had mentioned in that video that aller my allergies were bothering me that day, and I think all of a sudden it just got in my eyes, and it just everything went blurry so all right i'm gonna go enough been on here forever sorry for my rant about my eyes but i know there were people concerned over that video that i did a couple weeks ago just want to tell you that i did go get that checked out um and i am good to go for now so so thank you everybody for watching i love everything i got thank you for my bag my the bag of day crochet facebook yarn enabler you got me some really killer deals on those uh, Afghan kits. I cannot wait to make them. Oh, I'm not making them. I can't wait for them to get commissioned out. I can't wait to put that Christmas one on the back of my chair. Mm. So I'll see you guys on my next video. All right. Thanks for watching. Okay. Bye guys.